For the first time in history, Philadelphia's police commissioner will be an African-American woman. She's vowing to restore trust between the community and law enforcement. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live from police headquarters with more on this historic hire. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning. Well, the new commissioner says it does not matter what city you're from, what police department you head. She says she's ready for the job because she's familiar with 21st century policing. I am honored by the faith that you are placing in me to lead the Philadelphia Police Department. Meet Philadelphia's new top cop, Danielle Outlaw. She's the city's first black female commissioner. Monday's announcement of her appointment marks a new era for the police department plagued by scandal. It's important to be very clear about what expectations are. Again, what's tolerated and what will not be tolerated. Outlaw comes to Philadelphia from Portland, Oregon, where she served as chief of police for about two years. The 43-year-old also served roughly two decades in Oakland, California's police department. Portland's homicide rate, only a fraction of Philadelphia's 350 plus homicides this year. How will the new commissioner handle the crime? Making sure that we get out ahead of time and come up with these strategies with community as opposed to imposing upon the community. The Philadelphia Fraternal Order of Police President says he's optimistic. She seems very down to earth, very receptive, and uh, I think uh, we'll have a pretty decent working relationship. Rally for Justice Coalition was at the forefront of reform after former police commissioner Richard Ross resigned in August amid claims of sexual assault and discrimination. We hope that she succeeds because if she doesn't, it's going to be our lives that are at stake. Now, in terms of crime fighting, the new commissioner says it's important to embrace the use of human resources as well as community input. She starts her new role in February. For now, we're live outside police headquarters. Crystal Cranmore, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Crystal, thank you. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of Philadelphia's new police commissioner. And when we are not on TV, you can find the very latest on CBSPhilly.com.